you step into the ring, we're gonna make sure you've got what it takes. Let's go over the basics first. All right, Donnie, show me what you got. Fundamentals down, and the rest will be easy. Hell yeah. Wheeler, you wanna get in the ring? <laughs> you even trained for this? I'm the future of this division. Don't mind him, Donnie. I'll take you on. Works for me. Let's do this. All right, gentlemen, keep your hits legal. When you're ready, touch gloves and we'll begin. Here we go. It's a real battle of wills out here today. My heart is beating so fast, I think it can burst. One punch at a time. He's feeling his opponent out. Now's my chance. something for you. There's an amateur boxing ring down in Tijuana a friend has a hookup with. Give me 15% and you're in. Let me know. Got a fight. Duke, help me prep. All right. The distance with Nick and Travis. I'm Nick. And I'm Travis. And this is what's happening in the world of boxing. <laughs>
how'd I look? this above the belt and inside the ring. Ready? The fight starts as soon as you touch gloves. All right, folks, this fight is underway. I'm Paul Burke, and I'm Chad Young. A solid hit by Creek. Hey, let him hit me. so far, but he got what it takes. Now, the fight's unsanctioned, but, uh, take it. It's in an arena. Hey there, fight fans. What Could be my big break. When we're done, the fight will be the easiest part of all of this. And this is what's happening in the world of boxing. Headlining the boxing news this week is the... Duke, wish me luck. Put your hands together for our fighters, ladies and gentlemen. The time has come. In the blue corner, Dwayne.
Fighter, touch gloves when you're ready to begin. Two boxing giants in the ring tonight, folks. Anything could happen. We went over everything in the dressing room. Now, the fight starts as soon as you touch gloves. It's the first round. This is anyone's fight, folks. The perfect underdog versus the fan favorite. It's hard to know who to root for. He barely even felt that one. Reed's going to have to start throwing some real punches soon. Just go in. A fella came by the gym today. He said you asked him to train you. He wants you to meet him at Minx tomorrow. No way. Hey there, fight fans. Welcome to another round of The Distance with Nick and Travis. I'm Nick. And I'm Travis. And this is what's happening in the world of boxing. Big things happening all over the world this week. Where do we even begin? Well, there's local news and there's some stuff happening across the pond. What's happening here, Travis? What if I told you Rocky Balboa was coming out of retirement? We got another Mason Dixon situation on our hands? Uh, not quite. Think a little more Tommy Gunn. You know, I would prefer not to. <laughs> Rocky Balboa is back Yo, in the boxing, but you ready, kid? You think you can get me set for Sperino? Trust me, kid. When we're done, the fight will be the easiest part of all this, all right? Today, though, today's gonna be hell. Right. He'll be doing a friendly sparring exhibition against Leo the Lion Sparino, the Fist of Philly. Donnie Johnson. Uh, that sounds familiar. Do we know this guy? They're saying he's got 15 wins. Achieved with CryEngine.
Hey there, climber. Welcome to our touch controller tutorial. This one's for learning the basics. First, try looking around. Notice how your hands move with the position of your touch controllers. As you climb, you need to be aware of your stamina. The amount of stamina for each hand is displayed on the hand itself. Okay, to take hold of a grip, use your left or right grip control. Each control maps directly to the hands you see. The distance you are from the wall depends on how far your touch controllers are from your body. Try this out by moving your touch controllers backwards and forwards. The hand that holds onto a grip loses stamina, while the one that is not holding gains stamina. While you lose stamina, you start to sweat. Your heartbeat increases and your hands start to tremble. When your stamina is depleted, you will fall. You can improve stamina by chalking your hands. If your hands are chalked, your stamina drains slower and regains faster. Chalk your right hand by holding the chalk button and shaking the controller. A sound will inform you once chalking is complete. Chalk your left hand with the left chalk button. The status of your chalk is displayed on each hand. Hold on to the grip again and see how stamina drains more slowly now. Grip with both hands to regain stamina. You must rest occasionally to regain stamina. Chalk depletes as you climb with every grip you touch. Less chalk means you lose stamina faster and regain it more slowly. Now look up and find the checkpoint flag. This shows you where the section is. Great, now try climbing higher. First, let's get to the save point. Hold on to a grip and push or pull yourself in the direction you want to move. You're doing really well. You've reached a safe point. If you fall after this, we'll restart back here. <clears throat> Some grips are just out of reach. Try stretching your arms to get to this one. Holding a grip that's too far from your body can decrease stamina. Whoa! <laughs> 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 <laughs>